Fluent Forms is one of the best and the fastest contact form plugins out there. As you see, currently it has more than 100,000 active installs. It has approximately 300 five star ratings and it's my go to contact form plugins. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how to migrate your forms from Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms and Caldera Forms to the Fluent Forms. It's a really simple task. It's going to take only a couple of clicks. So if you're interested, then jump in. So first things first, if you don't already have Fluent Forms installed, then go to the plugins and add new. Search for Fluent Forms, install and activate it. Let's imagine that you have Ninja Forms already installed and you would like to migrate from it. Or maybe you have a Gravity Forms installed and you would like to migrate it. Or maybe even Caldera Forms. Now, if you're using Caldera Forms, then pay attention that Caldera Forms has been discontinued. That means it's not getting any updates anymore. There is a post about it already nine months old and it says that it will be retired on December 31, 2021. So if you're using Caldera Forms, then you should migrate from it to the Fluent Forms. Now I have Fluent Forms activated. I'm going to go to the Forms and Tools. And under the Tools, there is a Migrator tool. Click on it. And now I see that I have Caldera Forms, which contains this form. I have also Ninja Forms installed, this one here. And this has this form and Gravity Forms. Now I'm going to migrate them one by one and let's see how does it work. So I'm just going to select it and import form. Now I'm going to go to the fluent forms, all forms. And there is a contact form by Caldera. Let's see how did it work. Well, works like a charm. I'm going to show you what is the display on the Caldera forms. As you see, three fields here, one field here and the button. And Fluent Forms imported the same layout, only the button is down below here. And it's because the free version doesn't have the option to add the custom button. If you don't know, then Fluent Forms has also a pro version. I'm gonna put the link to it. And if you are interested, then there is also a 20% discount coupon for you. It has conversational forms, multi-column form layout, spam blocking, confirmation file image uploads and so on as you see bunch of cool stuff also it has uh, an option to add the custom buttons and that is the reason why this button is here not here as with caldera forms nevertheless everything is imp imported fields and so on let's take a look at the settings it imported confirmation now let's take a look at the notification it seems that it's imported sent to this email Subject, let's take a look what does the Caldera form settings has. Subject and email. So, works like a charm. Let's take a look at the advanced option from name. Well, there is a one small issue here. I would have to replace this with my own placeholders. This one here and this one here. Save. And now let's migrate a ninja form. Select import all forms. I'm going to open up the Ninja form so we can compare what's what. So just a regular simple form. It imported it. There you go. Looks similar. Let's take a look at the settings and integrations. Email notification. Let's take a look here. Success message. And as you see, while for the Caldera forms, it did not change automatically this field here. It has done it for the Ninja forms. So kudos. Well done. Let's take a look at the email notifications once again. As you see, there are two notifications. One for the admin, the second one here. And the first one is submission confirmation. Let's take a look at it. So send to email. Well done. Once again, email placeholder is replaced once again. And down below here, nothing else has been configured. And next one, email notification, field message, field name, and so on. Let's take a look. Email notifications, inputs message, name, and email. 
just to confirm inputs message so the placeholders are correct i haven't configured the from name and from email from my ninja forms therefore those are not added here worked really well therefore let's migrate a gravity forms once again just one click and done boom the following fields are not supported please create them manually file and th that is because i'm using the free version of the fluent forms if i would use the pro version it would import this one also just to test it i'm gonna activate pro version here i'm gonna delete the imported form and i'm gonna migrate it once again migrator gravity forms import and now it's done and that's because i have pro version of fluent forms installed it contains a file upload field and free version does not have it once again let's see what happened here this is my gravity forms layout so i'm gonna open it up and there you go let's take a preview for the form well as you see drop down selections here as with the gravity forms here name date email selection file upload everything is migrated and now let's take a look at the email notification default confirmation for gravity form is thank thank you for contacting us let's take a look there it is and the email notification for the administrator new submission form new submission from and the same comes from the gravity forms although let's test whether the placeholder works there is no form title field here that means i would have to change it a bit so this needs to be tweaked also from name needs to be tweaked reply to email needs to be tweaked because those placeholders are not correct other than that works like a charm i have also a contact form 7 installed here but at the moment fluent forms migrator doesn't have an option to migrate from the contact form 7 i hope they'll add this option also in the future but at the moment it's not working it's working for caldera forms ninja forms and gravity forms as i said earlier fluent form is my favorite and my go-to contact form plugin and therefore i have made a couple of videos about it one of them is the one you see on the screen right now and in it i'm going to show you how to create a wordpress online payment form and donation form so if you're interested then take a look at it now before you go let me know in the comments what is your favorite wordpress contact form plugin and how does it compare to fluent forms also if you like the video then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel meanwhile take care